moderation on these subjects, she would be closer to Wall Street if that's the criteria for voting. I want to turn briefly in our, our last minute and a half or so to Republicans in the New Hampshire primary. Um, predictions, who are you guys looking for to either break out of the pack or, or maybe step up? David? Well, you're seeing Kasich, uh, I mean, you're, you're seeing Rubio establish some distance between himself and the other uh, mainstream uh, from the Bushes, the Christies, and the Kasichs. And so uh, you've seen that in the polls already, assuming the polls are correct. And so it's looking more like a three-man race, and it's looking more like if you're a Bush or a Kasich and a Christie and you do not top Rubio, you probably have to get out after him. Last minute to EJ. Uh, I think that um, the one question is, does Donald Trump lose again? I don't think that's inconceivable. He got snowed in in New York. He can't seem to bring himself to stay at a courtyard Marriott on the campaign trail. So he canceled his only event here in London there today. And I'm just wondering if uh, the same thing may start happening to him uh, in New Hampshire as happened in Iowa. I don't think it's going to happen, but it does seem like a possibility. And we'll be watching that with you. David Brooks of the New York Times, thanks so much. Thank you. And E.J. Dion of the Washington Post and best-selling author of the book, Why the Right Went Wrong. Thank you. Thank you, Audie. Some states in the South are having to rethink how they use tasers. This after a federal court decision that affects the southeast of the country. The court said police can't tase someone just for being uncooperative. But as NPR's Martin Costi reports, police say that severe, severely restricts their options. This case comes out of an incident in Pinehurst, North Carolina back in 2011. A mentally ill man was refusing to go to the hospital and he was clinging to a signpost to try to make him let go, the police tased him five times. He died a few minutes later. By any reasonable standard, the force used at Pinehurst was unreasonable. That's Sergeant Jonathan Puckett. He's the use of force trainer for the police department in Norfolk, Virginia. He says his officers are not allowed to tase a passive resistor like this. 